Hey peeps! Today we have a small knowledge snack before our GoPro 10 test against its competition. It's two simple questions. One, is 60 frames per second better than 120 frames per second? And the second question, is the wide lens better than the linear lens? When we bought the GoPro 10, we were impressed by the 4K 120 and the 5K 60. But when we took it out and tested it out in the wild, we found out things are not that equal. Let's take a look. But before that, keep in mind, next episode we're combining this with this. So, subscribe if you don't want to miss it. All right, no commentary left. Here we go. Small break here, you need some details. All the footage you're seeing here is placed on a 24 frame per second timeline. So you take a 60 frame per second footage and you put it on the 24 frame per second timeline, all of a sudden it stretches. That's why you're seeing slow-mo everywhere. Just wanted to recap that. 24 frame per second timeline. Let's continue. Oh, 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 
All right, now you saw all that we filmed. You probably have your opinion. Our opinion is that 4K60 is the way to go with 4K. We're gonna use the 120 also, but if you want quality, we're gonna go for 4K60. And in the case of the 5K, we love it. Probably gonna use the 60 also, but I think for the wide lens, the wide lens seems better in most cases. We see more details in the wide lens. It feels different. Comment in the comment section below. Tell us what you think. Which one did you like? What lens, what frame rate? All right, bye-bye.